Okay, it's Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107, and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your fault, be high Radio shout in. Stepping in the building, I got my A-Town family in this thing. The only one, oh no, what's good with it, my dog? Be how what's going on? Man, over here feeling good, feeling great. Now, oh no, man, I had a chance to marinate on some of this new music you got on deck. Yeah. That Texas Pete is going crazy as we speak. Yeah. Break that banger down to me, my dog. Texas Pete. Uh, yeah. Producer, Miley Snipes, kid out from uh, Las Vegas. I dropped Texas Pete maybe a month or two ago. It's been picking up, getting spins all through the city every night. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they like it. You know what I'm going saying? crazy. Basically. Now, yeah. I mean, you know Uno. Yeah. That project about to drop, man. Top of January, yeah. I mean, talk to me about putting that thing together. Um, putting that together, I've been working on it maybe about four months, mm-hmm. and um, they've been giving it my all. You know, just trying to put the, put together a body of work to where I feel like the my the listeners they'll be able to get to understand me through the music. You know what That's I'm saying? Right. So not what they're used to seeing, I guess, through social media or day to day in person. You know what I'm saying? But hearing what I got to say, you know, so I want to let them know. You know, what I'm saying I got something to say. That's exactly. It. Now, how long have you been down with the music, though, Uno? All my life, my pops got a studio probably 2001, one, two. So the studio life been out. It was been in me. I ain't really play sports growing up. I knew I was gonna do some music all yeah, my yeah. life. I ain't gonna lie. So that's <laughs> that's what it did. That where the ground went. You feel me? Already now, for those that don't know, man, you the son of the A Town legend himself, Rocco. I mean, those are some big shoes to be having to walk up up under, man. I mean. Talk to me about having a legendary father and knowing that it's your time now. Do you feel any pressure or no? Nah, I don't know if feel pressure, man. Yeah. I, I I already know it's some big shoe to feel, man. Yeah. Know? But I look at it uh, other than music, you know, looking up to my past, I always wanted to be like him. So when he told me I can be better than him, I'm on Ooh. the I'm on the route to being better than him. Yeah. He made me look at it like, okay, if he's saying that then that's coming from a goat. Or I'm the goat. You know what I'm saying? So, exactly. Hearing it from him, it definitely make it believable. You feel me? So I ain't really that much pressure. I believe in myself, so you know what I'm saying? I make sure it happens. Show sure enough. Now, yeah. I mean, what kind of game are you able to get from your dad, man, that helps you to be able to navigate this industry and get in here and raise hell like you're supposed to, though, Uno? So he just, basically, he just really want me to just stay myself, make sure I don't get caught up in the hype, not the hype and all the rest of it, and just, Stay real and just you know they gon' they gon' they gon' fall for it. You know they's gon' they gonna it's gonna track them. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So that's why they for real, man. Just make sure I stay true to myself and stay away from the fakeness, cause it's just you know it's out here. So. Already now, I mean, Uno, for you maintaining your humility, man, and just being able to keep it real with your people in the streets. Yeah. How was that for you, knowing that, hey, man, I got it going on and it's my time right now. Um, uh, man, I lived with my mama growing up, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So she always kept me humble as ever. Like I said, I didn't really play sports or nothing. So it was always, I always tried to chase what my parts had going on, you feel me, with their music, because that's what I wanted to do, yeah. even as a kid. So it, it was hard for my mama to understand that. So she really was 100% the reason why I stayed, you know, my, I stayed level-headed and yeah. then always, you know what I'm saying? Ever feel like I was this, this, and that. I just, I know where I come from, you feel me? So, exactly. Tyler, you know. Now, when you getting in that studio, though, Uno, break down that creative process, man. When it's time to get in there and jam, I mean, what is that vibe like for you, my dog? I'm going to hit a beat. Yeah. And uh, when I hit a beat, I'm going to instantly catch a freestyle on it. I'm going to go in the booth, freestyle on it once, freestyle on it again twice, just hear the flow, hear what flows I came up with, and I'm going to go back in there, punch in on it. You know what I mean? So, that's cold. Like now, that. I mean, this new project, you know, Uno. Yeah. What do we need to be expecting from it, though, man? Because, I mean, what kind of messages, what kind of stories that you're trying to tell in this project, my dog? Uh, it's about 10 or 12 songs on the project. With this project, I want everybody to, to I want everybody to understand where the You Know Uno come from. The you Know Uno ain't simply, I'm telling you, like, oh, you know Uno, like, you know me. Yeah. I ain't going big. No, it's it's basically, I'm, once you listen to this project, you're going to know me. You know what I'm saying? So basically, it's an introduction. So I want everybody to be able to understand me through the music and get to hillside they never heard 
or seen from me. So that's what it is, you know. What was it like for you still coming up in the hood, man, with your daddy being famous and on top of things, and you still understanding what was real in the streets at the same time? Um, truth is, before before the route, you know, Pops was already outside, like in our in our city, the well. The streets already just knew me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, you know, along with the fame or whatnot, they just came with more of it. But out here in the city, I always just, I always stood on my team. Yeah. You know, when I be by myself a dolo, I pull up dolo, you know what I'm saying? They know I'ma have it. I'ma have it, I'ma have it all on me. You gonna you gonna see me. <laughs> like you gonna see me. So at the end of the day, it's a be it be a respect thing to where they know, okay, the shout it on bars, nobody. He the shout it went to school. He just he 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 solid, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he real one so you just put that out there you're gonna receive it you know what i'm saying so now i'm from the four two uno and uh i came out of that cau myself yeah talk to me about coming out of the west side with it and sliding over there in that thing what was it that you picked up from school and what was that experience like when you was up through there that experience was sweet oh uh, yeah. i enjoyed myself i ain't gonna lie to them four years i'm gonna always <laughs> remember those four years to, you know what i'm saying like them 2014 to 2018 like that was my college experience so um, coming from Camerton Road and like you know just swats all the way been here all that that's right that was well you know what I'm saying a lot of that's what my childhood was a lot of my friends you know what I'm saying we all had dreams a lot of them had sports dreams you know what I'm saying some made it some didn't a lot of them rap dreams everything like you like got a lot of people who really had <clears throat> different careers and paths they wanted to follow so now and then you go back now we I'm twenty four, I just turned twenty four. And now here I am, you know, I'm getting I'm just getting out here now, I'm really getting closer and closer to my dreams. I done, I'm living certain dreams. I done graduated. I didn't feel like I'm off a checklist right now. So yeah. now I knew once I finished school, I wanted to try rap. I wanted to really put my foot in the rap and really give it a try. Rather than just being around it and people leaning on to it. I got my own studio for Christ's sake. So why not <laughs> get in there myself, you feel me? Like yeah. but of course my aspect to it, you know, I wanted to come in executively like my pops did, of That's course. Right. So his blueprint was really what I seen and kind of orchestrated for myself in the future to come. You know what I'm saying? So, Thanks. Yeah. What I loved about your dad, man, is that nobody co-signed him. He co-signed himself in this yeah. thing. And I see that the same with you right now. Yeah. So, I mean, talk to me about standing <laughs> up and coming into this game saying, you know what, I don't need no co-signs and y'all about to have to feel me out here. Really, like I said, I, I seen him do it, so I seen I seen how he did it, and I soaked it up to uh, man, he just grind it. He wanted it, he made it happen, and mm -hmm. he had the charisma, he had the swag, all that. So I feel like I got it all. I got the wordplay, I got the look, I got the swag, the voice. I I got it all. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That was like you said, that Tizzy Pete. I just yeah. I wanted to know how hot I'm hot. I wanted to hear it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to see it like, boy, hot. Okay, you on fire for real. What is it that you love the most about the music, though, Uno? Man, my music or just music in general? Both. What I love mostly about my music is I like how sometimes some of, some, a lot of stuff go over people's head. Like, yeah. I got my engineer with me right now, Sonny. Stuff go over his head a lot. <laughs> well, he'll, 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 he'll catch it after when I come out the booth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Playing the back and saying it. So he'll catch me like, okay. And then just... As far as music, all in general, man, it just it's universal. You know what I'm saying? You you watch all the old little mo old movies from back when they was in like fifties, sixties, when it was real segregation going on. Mm -hmm. Music really would brought all races together. That's that was right. one thing that really brought everybody together. So exactly. it's play a big part in just the world period. So you know what I'm saying? You ain't never lied. Now I mm -hmm. mean going forward though, Uno, yeah. I mean, what has your grind been like, man? Are you prepared? For this day and night show in the uh, night radio in the morning, Believe traveling it. this world and getting busy, my dog. Believe it, I I uh, got pretty used to it. My sophomore year of college, uh, my pops was still doing his thing. So up until the end, till he really, or I guess you say he retired, took a little retire retirement from rapping. Um, focus, you know, on like different business ventures he got going on. Yeah. So really, up until the end, yeah, the thing I was in college, um having class every day, but, you know, sometimes having a weekend. Luckily, I'm email, able to email my – it's better than high school. You yeah. email your, your uh, <laughs> professor, say, hey, 
I'm not gonna be able to be in class. I have an excuse, but that's right. I make sure to work in. Facts. And you know what I'm saying? Like it was, it was easy. I was able to do it, and I did that with school and really having, you know what I'm saying, a lot to deal with. So all the distractions in the world, especially being out here in my home city, my hometown. So I made it happen then. Now all I got is time to grind and chase it. I built, you know what I'm saying? Food not to make it happen. So. What is it like for you coming up in this great city of Atlanta, man? I mean, having those legendary ties and just knowing that it's time for you to ride your wave all the way to the top. Man, I love my city, man. Yeah. I, I From the Ben Hill days, from my first winter to all of it, man, like, I love it. Like, I, I I feel I ain't really grow up too many with too many cousins and all that, so I grew up with all the older, the older people. You know, they always tell me I got an old soul and laid back. Yeah. But it just... You know, I just come from real solid, good people, you know, and um, it just made me appreciate it. I remember uh, being a kid, I was always, I loved, used to have, I used, I used to love going to see Martin Luther King and his, like his uh, memorial and all that type of stuff. Yeah. That was always, Beautiful. that was always cool to me because it was, it was something the city had that made yeah. our city special for sure. So when you look at like the New Yorks and the LAs, the Miamis, you know what they going for, New York, Empire State Building. Statue of Liberty and all them stuff, LA, Hollywood, Walk of Fame. And when you come to Atlanta, you got real history right here. Real, on, real, now. real, you know what I'm saying? African American history to where you able to go back and see and do your homework and really just peep it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a beautiful city. So yeah. I appreciate my city so much. I ain't gonna lie. I love it. I can dig it. Now, yeah. when it comes back to this music, Uno, are there any artists that you wanna work with, bro? Yeah, for sure. Um, Tell me. As far as city, you know, city where, city where I go, I ain't never. Um, I've been talking and working, you know, of course, like, my little baby, Gunner. Yeah. Like, you know, I know them before the route. That's right. So, them, my boy, they they hard. Uh, I want to work with Savage. I like yeah. Savage. Um, Thug, of course. I had I did my first song I ever released was with Thug. Ooh. It's called No Help. It's still on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Featuring, no, uh, featuring Thug. Um, mm. About it for real, for real. I, I really want to, you know what I'm saying? Get one in with the young, with the with the young wave, real quick. So get one. I'd be able to get one in now. And then years when you see the music progress and stuff, you'll be able to get one in later. And you, will, you know what I'm saying? For the fans, that should be hard. I mean, that should be hard, right? Though that'd be hard. Exactly. Um, outside of Atlanta, I like Ryder Rich. Yeah. I like um, New York. I like a boogie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So really just you know, I I I like all the just the young the young campaign, like the under the under twenty sim, you know, just everybody who just grind and shining, you feel me? Like I yeah. like that, you know what I'm saying? Now when you ain't out here jamming, what you doing for it though, Uno? Yeah, I'm just trying my best to stay up, stay above water, man. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm in the studio for real, for real, twenty four seven. Yeah. But then that's why it's all going to. Like, you know, I try my best to have fun and Enjoy myself. I party a lot. I go. I get my music spent, play, meet new de- meet new people. You know what I'm saying? I, I uh, like interacting with new people. Meet the DJs. Yeah. Um, uh, just building new relationships, club owners, just different stuff. Getting cahoots with everybody to really show my face and really just show them who I am. You know, cause for a long time, what I didn't want, I didn't want to be. Well, I don't want to be the one who, okay, you know, forever, so and so. I'm introduced there, okay, this so and so, this so and so son. Yeah. I want them to know me, the Uno. Or right. then, you know, they'll they'll either know that or they'll find out later what's going on between that. But they know me for me and not just for being who I am. I don't want them to like me for who I am, but I want them to really get to know me. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I feel you on that. Yeah. Like I was telling somebody earlier, I just had my son this year and I was like, you know what, and he a junior, but I said, Don't get it messed up. It was a man named Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. Okay, King Griffey Jr. Junior, junior. You see what I'm saying? So you could come out after daddy and be yeah. one of the goats too. Nah, you see sure. what I'm saying? So that's what I'm loving about that, man. I mean, Lashley Uno, is there anything else that you want to get off your chest, my dog? Uh, and how can you folk contact you? You can follow me on Instagram at only one Uno. That's the number one Uno. Twitter, Snapchat, A1, number one underscore Uno. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much on social all social media, Facebook, Ramon Uno Hill. However, you want to reach me, get in contact with me. Um, 
my booking email, only one booking at Gmail, and I'm down to work with whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm trying to make it happen. I can dig it. Oh, no. My dog, appreciate you coming oh, through this man. thing, boy. No, I appreciate you. Wish you nothing but the best and much success. Sure. Beehive Radio, shout it. It's Hot 107.9, man. Let's go.